guys, my name is Audrey Miller, coming to you from Alaska. I'm a two-star diamond coach, and today I wanted to share with you guys a few of my tips to end this year stronger than ever. So my goal this year was really to end 2016 stronger than ever, physically, spiritually, and mentally. So that is what I've been really working on, you guys, and I've experienced tremendous growth in all areas. I wanted to give you guys a few tips. I'm gonna start with the basics, just a little bit. So I know we've all heard of the vital behaviors. I really wanted to hone in with you guys the importance and share a few little key points with you um, and maybe offer a different spin on each one of them. So the product, you know, being a product of the product, you guys, that is so important and absolutely so crucial. Are you starting and finishing a program right now? I know this time of year is really hard. I live in Alaska and there's hardly any daylight right now. And oftentimes that leads for decreased motivation, increased fatigue, and you know, just um, maybe less drive. And I know I'm not the only one feeling that way. All over the country, people are affected by the decreasing daylight and de decreasing energy this time of year. And you guys, the holidays are hard. Let's be real, right? We're going to parties, we're you know, um, being exposed to all sorts of different treats and fun festivities, and we wanna celebrate with our families and share in that. So this is why it is so important to dig in even more than ever. So I know you guys, as coaches, you work programs, right? We start and we finish them, and we go for those results. One of the reasons why I truly wanna end 2016 stronger and more fit than ever is because I know that my results are a direct reflection of my business and at our physical transformation and that journey is our business plan. We are our own advertisement when it comes to people coming to us to help them with their health and fitness goals. So you guys, if we want our businesses to grow, which I know we do, we have to work on ourselves and we have to really dig deep. So whatever that means for you, maybe you do everything just to a T right now as it is. Um, but maybe you need to dial in that nutrition plan a little bit more. Maybe you can dig a little deeper in your workouts and be more consistent. Maybe double up. Find a different activity that you love to do. Whatever will push you to get those results. And remember that when we're doing that and we're sharing that journey with others, that is how we're truly helping them get results as well. So being a product of the product is absolutely essential. And Go ahead and dig deep this holiday season and for the end of the year. Starting off 2017 starter than ever, stronger than ever physically is certainly something that I'm excited for. I also have a few beach trips to look forward to. So good motivation right there, you guys. The second thing, I'm not going to say much about this, but inviting. We all know about inviting, you guys. But I just want to encourage you to do some serious pushes, okay? Really own it and dig deep, push, 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 and just invite those 50, 100, 200 people, you know, track it, um, be super consistent with your tracking and know that all those no's, all those not now's, all of those no responses, we're planting seeds for when they're ready. And most people are ready come New Year's time. So this is, you're inviting right now is going to totally propel your business forward coming the new year. So keep that in mind if it's feeling a little um, if you know, dry or if you're less motivated with your inviting this time of year. Something that I want to dig into a little bit more is personal development, you guys. When we grow on our personal journey and we do um, you know, our personal work and we find those sticky spots, those things that maybe in our lives we've had personal challenges with, it's going to be different for everybody, you guys. But some people, you know, you may struggle with communication, you may struggle with confidence or insecurities, maybe team building, maybe just negative self thoughts, um, whatever it is, you guys, I truly encourage you. And this is something I've really done this year and I've noticed tremendous growth. Find some really good quality personal development. Find you know, those people, those YouTube videos, those books, um, those mentors that really help you and go for it. Do the work, you guys. The work is hard, but when we do the work, just like with our physical journey, we get results. And when we grow ourselves and when we grow personally, then inevitably our business is going to grow because we are going to be more capable to help people on their journey. And we're going to be able to connect with them more and and totally just help them get results, which is what we're truly here for, is helping people. So I just really encourage you guys, um, 
you know, a lot of us have set some pretty big goals for this year and we may or may not hit those specific goals. But at the end of the day, at the end of the year, don't get down on yourself. If you come up just a little bit short, celebrate you, celebrate your accomplishments, celebrate everything that you have achieved and how far you have come and how much you have grown. Reflect back and think about where you were when you first started this journey. I know I was afraid to do a three-way call on a Zoom with the video with my upline coaches when I first started this journey. And you know, the transformation is truly remarkable. What happens when we're consistent and we put the work in and the personal development is not something to skimp on. That journey is not something to push aside this time of year when we're busier with the holidays and we're busier with our families and we're busier. No excuses, you guys, we gotta get that in. So find those power pockets, Find some topics that are relatable to what you're going through and what you'd like to work on and open up yourself and your heart to it and dig deep and go for it and own it. And if you come up short, you guys, at the end of the year of your goal, celebrate your successes and fail forward. Learn, reflect, you know, really truly reflect and then make a plan and keep pushing forward. So we never give up. That's the only time we fail is when we give up. So truly you guys, the journey is an amazing one and when we open up our minds and our hearts to it, then the growth is just absolutely phenomenal. The other thing I wanted to talk about, you guys, um, you know, recognition is super important, you guys, but come to it, come to it from like a place of gratitude, so a place of appreciation. You know, it's, it's natural for a lot of us to feel very thankful, but do we share that with those people who have really inspired and helped us along the journey? Um, whether it be our challengers, our coaches, our friends, our family, especially this time of year, you guys, this is going to get me into my second point of how to end the year strong. Um, but I just, I wanted you guys to, to just really reflect on what more can we give? And I know that may sound a little crazy because we're working our booties off to end the year strong, but what more can we do to help other people? That is ultimately what we're here for. And recognizing people and appreciating people is a great start. Another thing, my second point that we can really step up our game a little bit this time of year, after all, it is the holidays and not everybody is as fortunate as we are. If you have a little bit more time to donate, um, bring your family to you know a soup kitchen or donate more food for people, maybe volunteer more at your children's school, uh, whatever that is, sending out little packets of Energize and thank you cards to your challengers, um, doing a free group, you guys, 12 days of Christmas, free giveaways, um, you know, don't break your bank. It doesn't have to be an expensive thing at all. But the thought is, it really is the thought that counts and the thought that matters. And I just know that this time of year isn't the easiest for everybody. And if we can really truly give and do those things, I'm going to have a rockin' free group going. I want people to get results. And I know that most of those people or a good portion of them will roll into my official challenge group. So it's good for you. It's good for them. And ultimately it makes our heart feel good because when we're giving, um, that is, that's what fills our life. And that's, that's why we're doing this. So dig a little bit deeper with that, you guys. The third thing, my third point that I wanted to just emphasize for the end of this year is to make a plan. So we're pushing hard. We're digging deep for 2016. We're going to end this year stronger than ever, physically and mentally. It doesn't matter where you are at right now, you guys. We still have time to push. There is still time to just dig super deep. And you know, 2017 is going to sneak right up on us. So make a plan, fill out your calendar, schedule your challenge groups, um, decide what programs you're going to be doing, make a schedule of your free groups, you know, go ahead and schedule everything out you guys that you can and your journey, your um, post ideas, whatever it might be, but spend some solid time and planning how you're going to transition in 2017 and make sure to set some new goals for 2017 that are strong goals that you can push for and grow towards throughout the year. Um, you guys, we need to start doing that now if you're not to hit those 2017 goals because everything that we're doing now is going to go ahead and move forward into 2017 and help us achieve those goals at that time. So in order to do all of this though, you guys, we have to be super connected to our why and our reason, like our deep reason. Why are we doing this? So 
Um, I just encourage you guys as we end the year and we're starting fresh in 2017, I, you know, dig deep a little bit like um, into yourself and your journey and your reflection and, th and think about why you truly started this. Maybe it's time to reevaluate your why and, and, and rewrite it. You know, our whys change, our goals change. And of course, with the right intentions and with taking action and with the positive attitude and mindset, we can totally rock it. And we can end this year stronger than ever, and we can just sail into 2017 and have the best year yet. Believe in yourself, believe in the journey, and we got this. Own it, you guys. We totally got this. Have a happy Thanksgiving, and I'll talk to you all soon. Take care.